Hi, I'm Reverend Jake Zabe, and welcome to Children's Bible Stories. Alright children, in this video we're doing another children's church history story and today we're going to tell the story of the conversion of Constantine. So, to try and give a little bit of background history without going into too much, during the reign of the naughty pagan emperor Diocletian, there was the 10th and final, and also the greatest of all persecutions by the Roman government against the Christians. And many, many Christians were martyred for the faith under the reign of Diocletian. Now, during the reign of Diocletian, the Roman Empire was continually divided up to the point that there was four different emperors ruling at the same time. So Diocletian had set up a co-rule where there would be a Caesar who would be like the head ruler and then an Augustus who would be a lesser emperor. But then he also divided the empire even further into east and west so that there was four emperors ruling the one empire at the same time. They were meant to be working together but this often led to many conflicts. This is where we now come to Constantine. Constantine's father Constinius had been one of these four emperors and upon his death the army had declared Constantine his replacement. All of this led to much fighting and conflict and there became a big civil war between Constantine and a man known as Maxentius. And in the year 312, the two were preparing for a battle, and Maxentius' forces were twice the size of Constantine's. And so Constantine was wondering what he should do. And while Constantine was preparing his army for the battle, he looked up into the sky and he saw a sign over the sun. Now, now, different accounts have it differently. Some say he saw a symbol on the sun. Some say he saw a symbol over top of the sun. Either way, Constantine looked up and he saw near the sun a great symbol and the symbol he saw was a Christian symbol that had been going around the empire at that time known as the Cairo and this is made from the mixing of two Greek letters the Chi is the X looking letter that means CH in Greek and the Rho is this big P looking letter which is actually an R in Greek. And they make up the first two letters of Christ. And the early Christians had been using this as a symbol, but if you put the chi and the rho together, it also kind of looks like a cross. And Constantine saw this symbol, and then depending on the account, some people say he heard the words spoken to him, some people say he saw the words written in the sky, but the word said, in hoc sino venis, or in English, in this sign you shall conquer. And now the importance of the Cairo over the sun is that Constantine, like many ancient Romans, worshipped the sun god. They worshipped the unconquered sun of the Roman philosophers who taught that there was one God above all other gods. 
who was the supreme god, and this was known as the unconquered sun, the sun god. So the philosophers taught that the sun god, the god of the sun, was the supreme god that ruled over all others. And by seeing the Cairo on the sun, Constantine now realized this one supreme god that the philosophers had thought about is actually the god of the Bible. That Jesus is the one supreme god. And so now Constantine converted to Christianity and he believed in Jesus. Now Constantine had heard about Jesus because he lived during the time of the Diocletian persecution. So he had heard about Christians, he had seen Christians, he had heard what they preached and taught, and he originally thought that these were naughty evil people that needed to be put to death. But now he realized that actually their God was the one true God. And that that God was promising to use Constantine. That if Constantine became a Christian and fought for Christianity, that God would be with him. And so, Constantine got all his soldiers to paint the Cairo on their helmets and on their shields and said, we will now be Christians. And in the name of this Christian God, we shall go and conquer our enemies. And with that, Constantine went on to win his battles and became the new Roman Emperor. And then Constantine did something very important, which was he legalized Christianity. Now, some people think Constantine made Rome a Christian empire. That's not true. That would be one of his successors who would declare Christianity the religion of the state. Constantine didn't go that far, but he started that process by stopping the Diocletian persecutions and declaring Christianity a legal religion. So now you could be a Christian in Rome without fear of being put to death. And Constantine helped build many churches he helped fund the church, and he's also responsible for calling together the first council at Nicaea, where the church debated and dealt with the heresy of Arianism. And that then, children, is the story of the conversion of Constantine. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless.